Good morning ladies and gentlemen, how are we all doing? So today I thought uh, I would upload a video and the reason I'm going to do that is because my intention is to possibly do a live stream later. So today we are in the A350. I haven't brought the big bird out for a little while so I thought it was high time that she came out to fly again with us. So today she's coming out with us today on a very short but full busy hop over to Germany and we're currently stationed at Gatwick. What I'm going to do is it's very cloudy today so what I'm going to do is just activate my active weather, uh, active sky. So apologies for that, there we go, I'll just pop that all over the screen. There we go. Well, that's now activated and so that will give us some nice cloud cover right now that that's done um, she's a beautiful plane uh, initially when I first got this plane I was very uh, confused by the systems but perseverance has sort of prevailed and I'm now comfortable flying this plane and also comfortable working out everything I need to work out on this plane so let's not hang about let's get on with it so first things first let's jump in the plane I've already done the flight plan I've done the performance page and everything and if you want a video on how to set this up because like I said I personally did have some conflicts with it with uh, I didn't understand it then feel free to message me in the video below uh, in the message or comment section and just say Paul can you do a, a, an instruction video on how to set the whole plane up in this section here and I will be more than happy to do it let me get some sounds on for you because uh, it can be a bit yeah a bit loud so let me get the sounds on for you there we go and uh, let's get the pushback tug called out So at the moment there is no ATC coverer, uh, so... Ground to cockpit, please show me where you want to go. Ground to cockpit, tow is driving up. Uh, just verify, yep, still no ATC coverage. Um, also, uh, on a side note, I have all the panels, the SATAC panels. Uh, I have the radio panel, I have the multi-panel, and I also have the frequency panel like the altitudes and all that set so you won't see me coming over here pushing these buttons but um, I'm doing it because I'm doing it here my plan is uh, I've got a green screen coming and I've got another webcam coming so we are going to set up webcam so you can see all this um, in the coming days um, to bring some more involvement into the stream so hopefully in the next few days okay, we'll start seeing that. Okay, all doors and hatches are closed, ready to connect. I love the way he will say all windows and doors closed. I know for a fact he hasn't closed this one here. But we're going to go and close it now. So we're going to click close all. Now I know that because it's not here anymore. It's not saying it there, so that's the doors closing up. The SAM gateway, I don't know. It, it connected, but let me see if I can disconnect it. Yep, I can. There we go. And that's the SAM gateway disappearing away from the plane before we take that with us. So, our initial altitude is 3,000 feet. So, if you look, I am adjusting the altitude and the plane is currently being lifted up by the tug. And our virtual climb, I'm going to set. So connected as well. Bypass pin inserted. No, I'll, really? I'll set it to 1,600 feet. So that's all set. Everything's looking good over here. No issues whatsoever. Parking brake can now come off. I'm not sure if this works. So I'm just going to check it. Yep, it did. Surprise, surprise. Starting pushback. So pushback is underway. And we are pushing back. As I said, this is an amazing plane. Uh, very, very large. Very enjoyable plane to fly got some great camera angles set up for it we've got a lot of passengers on they're all looking super excited as you can tell 
Never seen so many excited passengers in all my life. They must know what my flying's like. That's all I can pretty much say on that one. But we'll be backing up here now nicely. And we can, uh, while we're backing up, let's have a look from the um, tower. As, as we're moving back, as you can see. I've also put some old, new mods in uh, X-Plane. So this pushback tug, when we're doing southwest, will actually show a southwest livering. And my better ground handling as well has been updated to incorporate some more uh, liveries that match the plane company that we're company fly uh, con currently flying. I cannot get my words out today, can I? Maybe a sip of tea while we're pushing back might help. I think a sip of tea always helps. Yep, that tasted nice. Captain can't fly without his uh, cup of tea. And it's not a long flight, guys, but um, there will be a time at some point where we will do a much longer flight with this bird. But that time is not today. Possibly the weekend. We'll see what happens. Uh, as I said last night in last night's live stream, I have got work commitments that are coming up which are going to make doing more than one a video or live stream a day a little bit harder but I'm still going to do my level best to at least keep that amount of uh, videos coming your way. So if you are new to my channel, if you are new to my channel please hit the like button if you're watching this video and you're enjoying it. And also, operation um, complete. Set parking brake. And also subscribe as well, guys. That would be this really good. Toes, stand by. As you know, we're trying to build a community here of fellow aviators and hobbyists, as it were, that enjoy flight simming. So definitely hit the subscribe button, guys. Really would appreciate that. So we're just waiting for him to disconnect. then we'll get on our way. Pilots look look happy, don't we? Sitting in our chair. Still no Vatsim on, so we're going to continue. And he's going to disappear. So we'll obviously wait for him to disappear before we pull out straight on top of him. Come on, Mr. Tuggy, disappear. I'm not sure why he's not moving. So is disconnected and bypass pin no. has been removed. Hand signal on the left. We'll see you next time and have a safe flight. Thank you very much. So let's get our taxi lights on. We can get our strobes on. Beacons should already have been on, so my apologies for that, guys. That's one of the things I haven't managed to work out, is how to get those working on my um, panels. So... We'll get the emergency lights armed up. So that's all good. Um, I think we're ready to depart. Everything looks good. So let's get our departure underway. I know there is a way to put Navigraph, I think, on this chart. Um, I haven't as yet managed to work out how, but I do believe there is a way to do it. Um, See, like I can put certain charts on I can't I can't pick random charts that I want I think you've got to like preload those charts in um, but I suppose it's better oh, better than not having any charts isn't it uh, I think you have to preload those charts in yourself but I think there is now a way to actually uh, forego one of your screens it could be this one I don't know I need to look into that, but I believe there is a, a, a way of putting your your nav. Oh, is it? Yeah, now I think it's the navy tab. Yeah. So, uh, just checking all our flight li controls: left, right, rudder. All looking good. Rudders left and right on the yoke, forward and back. All looking very good. Nicely done. So let's get underway and move off so 
a little bit of acceleration now just to get us underway. There we go. It doesn't need much. Very, very powerful planes in this particular plane. Very, very powerful. You could park a car in these engines. That's how big they are. That dum dum noise you're hearing is as we're running over the cat's eyes. How clever is that? Still checking. No, nav uh, nobody on sim brief, so we'll keep continuing as we are. Just want to say a massive thank you to those that joined the stream last night, Eddie and what have you, Oliver, and a few other people as well. Do appreciate it. I know the streams are quiet, but they will pick up in time. This doesn't work yet. When you click that, it's supposed to open a map so you can see your taxi in, but it doesn't work yet. I don't think it'll ever work because this plane's been out for a while now, and there's been a few updates, and that's not been included in it, so. Yeah, it's kind of a shame. It'd be kind of cool if that worked. Especially as it's such a big plane, it would be helpful to be able to see the runway lights, uh, runway lines and taxi lines, as it were, as we're taxiing it out. But uh, no joy as yet. We've opted to come out this way. We could have gone out to the left there, but uh, we're going to go this way just the same. I say it's a very very powerful plane and we've got a lot of uh, business people on the plane today vips what have you if I had anything to say about this plane is it it does lack a bit of you know Involvement, should we just say? Uh, safety demonstration. Let's see if that will play. Ladies and gentlemen, Here we, go. we request your full attention as the flight attendants demonstrate the safety features of this aircraft. When the seat belt sign illuminates, you must fasten your seat belt, insert the metal fittings one into the other, and tighten by pulling on the loose end of the strap. To release your seat belt, lift the upper portion of the buckle. We suggest that you keep your seat belt fastened throughout the flight as we may experience turbulence. Airbus A350 have eight emergency exits, four on the left side of the cabin and four on the right. Please take a few moments now to locate your nearest exit. In some cases, your nearest exit may be behind you. If we need to evacuate the aircraft, floor level lighting will guide you towards the exit. Doors can be opened. Very quiet at Gatwick today. Each door is equipped with an inflatable slide. Couple of easy jets around, but it's very generally quiet today. going to pull into here and just make sure there's nothing coming in. Let me just have a look and check that there's nothing coming in. Don't think there is, but I think it's always good, good manners just to check. Uh, 
have a look. So we've got, yeah, we've got an, an Amsterdam flight coming in that's very close. So we'll wait for him to land. It's there, I think. No, that's, yep, yeah, that's him. So... Seems very low. I don't want to pull out onto the plane. That's a sure way to piss people off, that is. Um, yeah, he's, I think he's coming round. So I'm just going to give him a few seconds more, a few more minutes to make his commitment. What I'll do is I'll just go over to 122, two, decimal 8. And that way we can monitor any traffic that is coming in. There we go. Lufthansa 901, lined up runway 26 left, awaiting for arriving plane to come in first. I'll see if he's uh, if he's on uh, VATSIM. According to this, he's... Right, so he's established. Well, the only problem with Gatwick is you get a lot of Heathrow traffic as well that you pick up from here because it's quite close. But uh, he's coming in and he'll, according to his call sign he's a Lufthansa as well. So... Uh, We'll see, he's an A20, uh, A320, but let's see what he comes in as, is he indeed a Lufthansa? He's passing the threshold now, he is indeed a Lufthansa, indeed he is. The one Lufthansa in, he's very high, very high up on coming in there. Right, let's uh, taxi out onto the runway. I'll just wait for him to clear the runway. And seats for takeoff. Lufthansa 901, lined up runway 26 left, departing via the Mint for one mic departure. So he's cleared off the runway, so we can go ahead and push. Lufthansa lined up on 26 left, you can take off. Lufthansa 901, thank you. Nose down, and toga. Not the speediest of planes as it first appears, but... Yeah. He does get up there. People are straight down the line. And V1, rotate. And that's us up. Positive climb, landing gear can come up. Autopilot could come on. Imagine it didn't actually do it. <laughs> Couldn't be me. So we'll pull back now into climb. Level climb. And we will follow out the constraints.
at this speed she always seems like she's barely moving it's quite funny not sure why she's going so fast let's pull that back she's a bit she's a bit keen to go so we'll set the climb Come on now. So 3,000 feet will become two, 320 we're going to. I have a feeling it could be a little bit too high but we're going to 320. There we go. We just want to set her on the, the correct version. There we go. So she'll now climb out nicely at that altitude. I can't believe I took off. I did wonder why it didn't seem to want to take off. And now I understand. Me being the billy goat that I am, I totally forgot to put the flaps out. Couldn't be me. <laughs> That's so cool that is. <laughs> oh guys, don't take to the comments and rip me on that one. Yeah. Didn't, uh, because my brain just sometimes struggles to keep up. I didn't put the flaps out. I did not put the runway <laughs> takeoff lights out. Yeah, I really do need to start doing better with checklists. <laughs> really have to start doing checklists more. <laughs> oh, dearie lord. Please don't rip me in the comments because I know that was just bad. There we go. You're climbing now. We're following the constraints, obviously, if Vatsim were on, they would have no doubt by already have by now told us to climb, but, uh, yeah, we're, we're following out the constraints as as we're meant to do so. Um, have a take a look around the plane. Look at those massive engines, guys. And that scenery, of course, which we all love when I'm in the UK because we have that great scenery underneath the planes that makes X-Plane look every bit as good as Microsoft in that respect. But that's, for anyone that's not sure, that's because I've got, um, oh my word, what, what have I got? True Earth, that's it, True Earth scenery. So, I have the whole of the UK covered, so that's why we get such amazing scenery under the plane. Uh, worth every penny, but not cheap. One second, guys. So coming up to 5,000 and then 6,000 and then we will climb out. Um, I could make the plane climb a lot quicker and get us going but it's not a very long flight as it is so I don't really feel the need to push it or push the situation. I'm happy to just let it continue. Um, let's put our calming music on.
and we'll climb out. There's some lovely clouds as we go past. Hard to believe we're already been recording for 28 minutes already. Sorry about that guys, <laughs> selecting the next track and uh, accidentally hit the other button on the uh, VATSIM, uh, not VATSIM, Stream Deck.
aircraft continues to climb. We would like to remind you that all flights of our airline are not smoking. For your safety, the lavatory have been equipped with smoke detectors. Damaging or disconnecting the smoke detectors is strictly prohibited. On the overhead panel you will find a personal lamp, air conditioning, and a flight attendant button. The lavatory for the business class passengers are located in the front of the airplane, and for the economy class passengers, in the back and center of the airplane. For your safety, when seated, we recommend to keep your seat belts fastened, even when the fastened seat belt sign is off. How are we doing guys? Just made myself a little brewski. And let's go up here. The one thing you'll know is these planes, Airbus do not climb fast. They believe in climbing slow and steady. And uh, Let me just 
turn that down a little bit, it's a bit loud. There we go. Yeah, I believe in going slow and steady through air buses. Whereas Boeing believe get up there as fast as possible and then slow down. Alright, we'd at 32,000 feet, we'd already be up there by now if we were in a Boeing. I just got to say one point, the announcements on here seriously need updating. What plane would you ever get on where they say you can now turn on your calculator? Seriously, that is so funny. Right, let's get the drinks out.
clouds. Broken 400 feet Frankfurt information echo. Out. Frankfurt information echo. Met report time 1220 Zulu. Expect ILS approach runway 25 left. Or ILS Y approach runway 25 right runway in use. Transition level 60. Wind 180 degrees 3 knots variable between 160 and 220 degrees. Visibility 9 kilometers clouds. Scattered 400 feet. Overcast 1100 feet. Temperature 1. 2.1 QNH 1033 Tread temporary clouds. Broken 400 feet Frankfurt information echo. Out. There was Lufthansa 875 uh, at level 345 descending to 573 minutes. Lufthansa 875, radar contact, hello, proceed to Kerax, follow Kerax 3 Alpha. Sorry, Kerax, Kerax 3 Alpha, 875. Stuttgart, wir rollen hier die
Lufthansa 901, I'm with you, might be a little bit early, but I'm with you when you're ready. Lufthansa 901, hello, radar contact, Squawk Mode Charlie, please. Squawk Mode Charlie, uh, Lufthansa 901. Lufthansa 875, descend flight level 110, Kirax. Lufthansa 875, descending level 110, level 8, Kirax. Langenreder, hallo, uh, KLM 1793 requesting IFR clearance to München. Uh, I am currently at the flight level 310. KLM 1793, radar contact, hello, Squawk 1000 and proceed to Delta Kilo Bravo, you're clear to Munich. Squawk 1000, uh, proceed Delta Kilo Bravo, uh, KLM 1793, thank you. Lufthansa 901, radar contact, when ready, descent flight over 250. 250 for Lufthansa 901. But we can now start our descent. I'm going to try and use my panels because that thing is just driving me crazy. 250. Lufthansa 1230, radar contact, hello, descent flight over 150 and proceed to airbox. And that's working nicely. So we're just going to start our descent. Proceed direct to Delta 41. Uh, cool. Sorry. Lufthansa 901, could you send that in text please, sir? De Delta Fox drop 411 for Lufthansa 901. He wants us to do a direct. Alpha, contact radar 124, decimal 050, Which is here. Lufthansa 875, proceed to Delta Fox 621. Delta Fox 621, Lufthansa 875. Correct. So now we're doing a direct there. This gives us a little shortcut there, which is nice. I don't know what that one does. It's one of these things where you don't want to push something and then find out it breaks something. Obviously I know that, obviously for the ILS, but no idea what that one's for. Lufthansa 
Zero, my apologies, uh, Lufthansa 901. Sure, 901, and kindly report your speed, please. 
<coughs> Lufthansa 901 speed 264 knots. Lufthansa 901 speed 280 knots or greater, please. 280 or greater for Lufthansa 901. Kilo 1769, I descend flight level 110 and speed Two one. Uh, sorry, can you repeat? Of course, one two zero decimal eight. One two zero decimal eight for Lufthansa nine zero one. Thank you for your service, sir. Sure, bye bye. Lufthansa nine zero one. Good afternoon. With you, climb uh, descending through eleven thousand. Lufthansa nine zero one. Langen. Hello, Randy. Find information. Foxtrot current. Expect balance two five left. Expect runway 25 left for Lufthansa 901. Yeah, baby! What daddy got for you? Want your kick? Mm -hmm. Don't, don't, don't! Get out! I'm mean, giving him his ticket! In case you're wondering, I was giving the cat some chicken. Q&H 1033 to send to 5,000 feet for Lufthansa 901. Trying to clear that uh, that bit here, and it's not working. Uh, 
We'll have to do a direct over the top of this thing. I can't just pop it up there like. Uh, we're just gonna have to do a direct as we come round. I don't know. That's the only choice. Why is this plane, stupid plane, not descending? Hello? No. Oh my god. Get down. Right, come on, descend. There we go. Not sure why it wasn't descending, but it's ordered now. Seven six nine at the flat level six. Flat level six zero. Okay. Six. 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 Descent to 4,000 feet, Lufthansa 901. We're descending now, nicely. We've got the speed brakes out. We still have this slight issue here that we really can't do much about at the minute. We're just going to have to do, as we come up to this end of this thing, and do a direct turn round to it. Maybe he'll give us a heading in. So, possible options there. Lufthansa 901, you want me to continue on my current flight plan or turn to a new heading? Negative, sir, fly on present heading. Fly on current heading, Lufthansa 901. He just wants me to continue straight on. Lufthansa 901, once reached 4,000 feet, speed 220 knots. 220 knots at 4,000 feet, speed bird 9, uh, sorry, Lufthansa 901. Thank you, Mitter, Alpaca. 5 Alpha Lima, Havi is at 4,000, Anika 3 Alpha departure. Alpha Kurushan Alpaka 5, Alpha Lima Langen, Hello Identified, Climb Unrestricted Flight Level 130. Climb Flight Level 130, Alpaka 5, Alpha Lima. The Fatsanaina Sarabon, turn right, heading 220, Kletter left, 25 left. I'll say that again. Turn right, 220 degrees, cleared for the ILS, Lufthansa 901. Okay, then 1769, descent 5000 feet, Canadian 1033. Pacific 5000 feet, Canadian 1769. Langer Radar, good afternoon, Oscar Max here, Charlie November, passing flight level 120 for 110 inbound care. Oscar Mark Charlie, Sierra Charlie, November Lang and Hello Dent, T5 Information, Foxtrot, expect LS25 left. Information, Foxtrot, I'm expecting 25 left. Oscar Mark, Sierra Charlie, November. Gene Bond, 769, speed 220 knots, continue on present heading. Continue on present heading, 220 knots, repair at 1769. Oscar Charlie, November turn left heading 235, descent flight level 70. Descent to flight level 70 and turn right, er, uh, left, 
uh, heading 235 for Scaramanxia, China number. Alpaca 5, Alpha Lima, contact Langen Radar 123, this is 275, bye bye. 123, that's 275, Alpaca 5, Alpha Lima 5, stay to see, bye bye. Vega Radar, good afternoon, Los Nets of 116, the party in 2600 for Alpaca. Alpha 116, Langen, hello, identified, client via flight level 110. Flying wire state, level 110, Langen, hello. Building it. Kelebon 769, Adi, 4000 feet. Adi, 4000 feet, Kelebon We're just lo just locking onto the ILS. So that's looking good. I'll just get the speed off now. Seven six nine, I turn right, heading two two zero, clear the last two five left. Two two zero, clear the last two five left, clear one seven six nine. Defend the nine, another one, speed one eight zero, not so great, turn to six miles final. Speed uh, one eight zero before six miles. Lutanza so nine zero one. Scott Charlie November, proceed direct Delta Fox Trot six two one, descent five thousand feet, can age one zero three three. Very cloudy. Scanage 1033, descend 5000 feet uh, and direct uh, Delta Fox 621. Shall we, we put the lights on this time just for, just for giggles? Defender 116, contact Langen Radar 123, decimal 275. Bye bye. Sending now with the ILS. Defender 9, Azara 1, contact Frankfurt Tower 119, decimal 9, bye bye. Contact tower on 119 decimal 9 for Lufthansa 901. Goodbye. Can I bond? Piston alle 25.18, QNH 1033. Melden Sie wohl bereit. Lufthansa 901 on final, 9 miles. Lufthansa 901, Frankfurt Tower, hello, wind 160 degrees, 400, runway 25 left, clear to land. Clear to land for Lufthansa 901. So we're all good. I'll hold the speed for now. Uh, let's see if I can get another flaps out. Yes, I can. Bit of flappage. Do like a bit of flappage. The active systems are all 25 and 18. Temperature, very uh, good afternoon from uh, Lufthansa 6 November X ray. We have information Fox Light will be next one zero three three requesting clearance. Dublin. Lufthansa 6 November X-Ray Tower, hello. Information Fox are correct. Startup approved. Clear Dublin, Zobra 1 Lima, Flight and Route, Climb Fire Set 4000 feet, Squawk 2 Zobra 5. Lufthansa 6 November X-Ray Behind next landing Lufthansa Airbus 350, line up runway 25 left behind. 1000. 
Behind next landing, Lufthansa A350 landing up from the 25 left behind, Firebird 500. Tower, Frankfurt, good day, K1769 on the 7.5 mile, final 425 left with you. KLM1769 out of Frankfurt Tower, hello, reduce final probe speed. Good for the runway? Einfach Nein, du sollst Bescheid sagen, wenn du rollen möchtest. Achso, okay, danke. check. Firebird 510, ready for a quick one. Affirm, ready. 100, 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. November 161, äh, November 1615 Tango, äh, rufen Sie Langrader, 120,8. Firebird 510, Wind, 160 degrees, 4 knots, 25 left clear takeoff. 25 left clear takeoff, Firebird 510. Lufthansa 901, welcome to Frankfurt. Taxi via Mike, Mike Trizero, hold short of runway 25 center. Taxi via Mike, Mike three zero, and uh, hold short of the additional runway. KLM 1769, I expect very late landing clearance. Left to land, traffic departing on an Aniki departure return to the left, wind 160 degrees, 4 knots. Clear to land, 2-5 left, traffic to side, scale 1769. Hold for tower and wunderschön, the North Class 6 has stand Victor 115, request I am on clearance destination Hamburg, has fired, we have information from Strick on board. And there's one taken to the skies. Frankfurt Tower, low, contact Langrader, 1 to the order, simulate. 1 to the order, simulate, check North Class 6. Firebird 5 und so, Kontakt Langräder, 1 to 0, Desmolate. 1 to 0, Desmolate, vielen Dank für den super Service, tschüss. Gern doch, ciao. Ciao. Lufthansa 901, Kontakt Langräder, 1 to 0, Desmolate. Kontakt, äh, Radar on, sorry, I've, is it 119 Desmol 9? Lufthansa 6 November X-Ray, Langen, 1 to 0 decimal 8. I don't think he was talking to me. Lufthansa 6 November X-Ray, Frankfurt Tower. So we go ahead for uh, Lufthansa 6 November X-Ray. Lufthansa 6 November X-Ray, contact Langrader, 1 to 0 decimal 8. 1 to 0 decimal 8, thank you, uh, Lufthansa 6 November X-Ray. KLM 1769er, welcome to Frankfurt. Taxi right on my coach out of Tango and contact Langenrader 120 decimalate. Holding short, Mike. Uh, going Mike, holding short, Tango. I'm going to Langenrader. Please uh, repeat for 600. 120 decimalate, just the last frequency you have been on. Oh, yeah, indeed. 120 decimalate, KLM 1769. Thank you. Good afternoon, Virgin 170 Charlie's Director Metro, descending flight level 110. 
Lufthansa 901 with you at Mike 30. Lufthansa 901, Langen, hello, cross runway 25 center, taxi to gate Alpha 69 via Lima at November 8. Via Lima and November to gate 869, uh, Lufthansa 901. Not flight 6, run into copy. On flight 6 in for Golf, clear Hamburg, Maroon, Trivis, Giddy, Parcher, flight plan route, climb by a sit flight level 7 to Ross, Quark 1000. Clear Departure by a Maroon, Trivis, Giddy, Parcher, climb by a sit 7 to Ross, Quark 1000, checking information, Golf, flight 6. On flight 6, read back correct, start up approved, report ready for pushback. Report and ready, not flight 6. Lag and radar, uh, uh, correction, lag and approach, good day to Singapore 721, descending Just gonna make our own parking space here. Expect LS25 left. Information Golf will get and expect in C5 left, Virgin 172 Charlie. Singapore 725, in for Golf, expect LS Yankee 25 right, descent flight level 7 0. Expect LS 25 right, descend flight level 7 0, Singapore 721. Air Force 16, Bravo Romeo, continue on present heading. Continue on present heading, Air Force 16, Bravo Romeo. Virgin 172, Charlie, descent flight level 8 0, speed 25 7 knots. Descent flight level 8 0, speed 25 0 knots, Virgin 172, Charlie. Yeah. Okay, let's take a look at the tango, black band should be tight now. We're going to disconnect from that, and we're going to do the replay, and and see how bad that was, because it did float again. Uh, I'm going to call myself Captain Floaty, I think, at this point. Uh, so I'm just going to go back and have a look. So let's take a look. I do believe I gave it maximum floatage.
That wasn't that bad. <coughs> Bit of maximum floatage, but otherwise wasn't that bad. And if we go from the tower, oh, the tower's quite close on this runway. Might have to do uh, the other one. Twenty, ten, 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 ten. I absolutely love the fake the fake applause. I think it's funny. Okay guys, so as we watch yourself taxi in, I will say thank you for watching, don't forget to hit the like button, also don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel, videos out every single day, live streams most days of the week as well, and I uh, will catch you on the next one, have a great day and I'll catch you later.